Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom, and for today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the 2008 format. On one side we've got the Gardevoir Galade deck, as used by Jason Klusinski, the Masters Division World Champion, and on the other side we've got the Glaceon Level X deck, so we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, please be sure to subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any Pokemon TCG content. And with that out of the way, let's get into the battle. And here we go, the battle has started with both players flipping over their starting Pokémon. On the Gardevoir side, we've got Chatot as the active Pokémon with a Baltoy and a Rolt on the bench. And on the Glaceon side, we've got an Absol as the active Pokémon with another one on the bench. The Glaceon side is going first, attaching a Call Energy to the active Absol, and then using the Call Energy ability to search the deck for two basic Pokémon to add to the bench. And the two Pokémon chosen are going to be Eevee and Baltoy. Glaceon's already starting off by building up their bench for the turn, and turn passes over to the Gardevoir side. Let's see what they can do. The supporter for the turn is going to be Roseanne's Research. Able to search the deck for a combination of up to two basic Pokémon or basic energy cards, and the cards chosen are going to be two Psychic Energies coming into the hand. Let's see where those energies are going to be coming down. Okay, we see a Psychic Energy coming down to the bench Ralts, and that's going to be it for the turn. Turn passes over to the Glaceon side again. The bench Eevee evolves into Glaceon right away, and a Water Energy comes down into Glaceon. The supporter for the turn is going to be Celio's Network, able to search the deck for any Pokémon to add to the hand. The one chosen is going to be Claydol, so we're going to be seeing the Baltoy evolve into Claydol this turn as well. Two evolutions coming down for the Glaceon side. There's the evolution, and Claydol activates his ability, Cosmic Power, able to put up to two cards from the hand at the bottom of the deck, and then the player can draw until they have six cards in hand. Really good draw power ability. And there's the attack declared, Baleful Wind. So the player's able to pick out any card randomly from the opponent's hand and then discard it. And the card chosen was a Call Energy. And over to the Gardevoir side, they play their own Serlios Network. Also searching for their own Pokémon. Probably going to be a Claydol as well. Oh, not a Claydol, actually. It's going to be a Gardevoir. Do they have the rare candy to evolve into Gardevoir this turn? Oh, there looks like they already have the Claydol in hand. And they do have the rare candy, so Ralts evolves directly into Gardevoir this turn. Let's see which Poke Power is going to be activated first. But first, the uh, Psychic Energy is attached to Gardevoir, and then Gardevoir activates his Poke Power, Telepass. Telepass is a really good Poke Power, able to search the opponent's discard pile for any supporter, and then use it as the effect of that power for the turn. So they use the opponent's Celio's Network to search the deck for another Ralts to bring to the bench. Yeah, so with Gardevoir in play, uh, the player is basically able to use two supporters per turn, making it a really broken ability. Now Claydol activates its cosmic power, able to search, not not search, draw until they have six cards in hand. And that's going to be the turn again, so still no attack coming down. Turn passes back over to the Glaceon side. A second water energy comes down to the bench Glaceon, so it's getting ready to attack. And they're going to be playing their supporter, Team Galactic, sorry, Team Galactic Mars. They can draw two cards from the deck and then choose any card from the opponent's hand and then put it at the bottom of the opponent's deck. So early on, Absol and Team Galactic Mars are able to strip cards out of the opponent's hand. And there's the attack declared Baleful Wind to discard another card from the opponent's hand and it's going to be... Ooh, a Gardevoir level axe going straight to the discard pile. That's gotta hurt. Okay, so turn passes over to the Gardevoir side. Do they have the third energy? They do! It's gonna be a call energy on, onto the bench Gardevoir. And then the stadium comes into play, Lake Boundary. Lake Boundary has the ability to turn all the weakness multipliers into times two, because normally in this format you see uh, weaknesses applying damage plus 10, plus 20, plus 30. Not always times two not like it normally was. But Lake Boundary makes it so all weakness damage is doubled. Another Telepass is played to search the deck for a second Gardevoir, so they might have another rare candy in hand. Do they have it? Let's take a look. They do! That's going to be a second Gardevoir! The Gardevoir side is off to a great start, even with all those cards taken out of their hand by Absol and Mars. Claydol is really good to draw back up to a full hand of six. So Gardevoir comes up active and attacks with Psychic Lock. Now Psychic Lock normally hits for 60 damage, but Absol is resistant to Psychic Pokemon so it only takes 40 damage. But more importantly, Psychic Lock also has the ability to make it so the opponent cannot play any Poke Powers during their turn. 
so Claydol on the Glaceon side cannot activate its cosmic power. They're playing the supporter Island Hermit, able to flip two of their prize cards over and then draw two cards. So now they know what two of their prizes are. It looks like the Absol is retreating, promoting the Glaceon. So Glaceon's finally coming into the attacking position. And there's the attack declared. Uh, speed Slide hitting Gardevoir for 60 damage. And also the Glaceon side did play their own stadium, Crystal Beach. Making it so that every special energy that provides multiple energy only provides one at a time. But it looks like it wasn't in play for very long as the Gardevoir side just played a second lake boundary. And now they're going to be playing a game of Paper, Scissor, Rock. <laughs> the Gardevoir side won. And now both players have to shuffle their deck away. The Gardevoir side gets to draw six new cards, while the Glaceon side only draws three. That is the, the ability of the Team Galactic's wager. Both players have to play Paper, Scissor, Rock. Now Gardevoir activates Telepass to once again search the opponent's discard pile for any supporter, and they're activating Celio's Network once again to search the deck for another Pokémon to add to their hand. Let's see what they're going to be choosing this time. Another Gardevoir. Sorry, another Ralts. It's going to be the third Ralts coming into play, so it might be evolving into a Gardevoir pretty soon. There's Claydol activating Cosmic Power to put a couple of cards at the bottom of the deck, and then they can draw until they have six cards in hand. So both players have access to Claydol, but because Gardevoir is attacking with its Psychic Lock attack, the Claydol on the Glaceon side cannot use its ability, so it's kind of sitting doing nothing right now. On the Glaceon side, they play their trainer card, Energy Removal 2, and the coin flip is Tails, so it does nothing. Otherwise, it would have discarded an Energy card from the Gardevoir side. There's a supporter for the turn, Castaway, able to search the deck for a basic energy, a Pokemon tool, and a supporter. So it's going to be a Water Energy, a Cessation Crystal, and another Castaway coming into the hand. But the player's going to have to start powering up another Eevee and Glaceon pretty soon, because this one's pretty close to being knocked out. And there's the attack declared. Speed Slide hitting for another 60 damage, and Gardevoir is knocked out, so Glaceon takes the first prize of the game. On the Gardevoir side, Chatot comes up as the active Pokémon. It does have a free retreat cost, acting as a pretty good pivot. And the supporter for the turn is going to be BB Search, swapping out one card from the hand for any Pokémon from the deck. And let's see what they're going to be choosing. A Duskull, alright! Duskull, once it evolves into Dusk Noir, has a really good Poké power to control the opponent's bench. That's probably why the Glaceon side has only bench three Pokemon, because if they bench four or more, the Dusknoir is able to shuffle away one of their benched Pokemon. The Telepass uh, copied the Glaceon's Castaway, so now they're searching for their own combination of cards, so they add Celio's Network and a Psychic Energy to their hand, and I don't think they run any Pokemon tools. No, they don't, okay. So just two cards being added to the hand. Okay, yeah, there's the Psychic Energy attack attached, sorry, attached to the benched Gardevoir, and now it is fully powered up, as it does have a double rainbow energy. And it's going to be able to use Psychic Lock once again. There's the attack declare, Psychic Lock taking a KO on Glaceon. Now because the Gardevoir does have a double rainbow energy attached, the damage it deals is reduced by 10, but it's still more than enough to take a KO on Glaceon. Another Crystal Beach comes into play to replace the Lake Boundary on the Gardevoir side. And Glaceon is also playing their own BB Search to search the deck for any Pokémon to add to their hand. Okay, now they're adding another Eevee to the bench. Alright. They have to start powering up another Glaceon pretty soon. Okay, there's the Water Energy coming down to the benched Eevee. And Cessation Crystal comes down onto Absol with Cessation Crystal on the active Pokémon. No players on both sides can activate any Poké Powers or Poké Bodies, so Gardevoir can no longer activate Telepass. The Gardevoir side activates Celio's Network to search for another Pokémon from the deck, and they're going to be adding a Curlia to their hand, so the benched Ralts will be evolving this turn. Yeah, there's the evolution, Curlia. And... Oh, Windstorm! Alright, so Windstorm is able to discard a combination of uh, two... Pokemon Tools or Stadium, so they discard both the Crystal Beach and the Cessation Crystal. 
perfect card to use as uh, now they're able to attack with a double rainbow energy and Claydol's able to activate its cosmic power. And Gardevoir is also able to activate its telepass, once again copying one of the opponent's discarded supporters. And they're going to be using Team Galactic Mars to draw two cards and then putting one of the Glaceon's cards in hand at the bottom of their deck. Ooh, and it looks like they only have two cards in hand. Wow, that's gotta hurt. Normally the Glaceon side is uh, the one that's pretty good at controlling the opponent's hand, but now Gardevoir is using their supporters against them. Let's see what they can do. Okay, it looks like they still have the Castaway in hand, so Castaway is able to search the deck for another Water Energy, another Cessation Crystal, and another Supporter. Let's see what the Supporter is going to be. There's the Crystal and the Water Energy, and the Supporter is going to be... Okay, Team Galactic Mars. There's the energies. Sorry, the energy coming down. Do they have the Glaceon? Yeah, they do! Alright, Glaceon comes back down. And a, sec a second Cessation Crystal is attached to Absol. Okay, turn passes back over to Gardevoir. Let's see what they can do for this turn. Once again, because the Cessation Crystal is in play, Gardevoir and Claydol cannot activate their Poke powers. Okay, we see uh, another Gardevoir coming down into the bench, and there's the attack declared. Psychic Lock. So it's still not able to knock out this Absol, as Psychic Lock only hits it for 30 damage. Glaceon activates Mars to draw two cards, and then choosing one of the opponent's cards from the hand to butt at the bottom of their deck. Do they have any more energy? Nothing else comes down. Okay, it's going to be the turn for the Glaceon side. Yeah, it's not looking very good for Glaceon right now. No cards were played from the Gardevoir side, going straight for the attack, Psychic Lock, and there's the second KO taken by Gardevoir. Glaceon comes back up into the active spot. And do they have the third energy? They do! Alright, a Call Energy comes down into the Glaceon. And the level X! Here we go, we finally see the main Pokémon coming down, Glaceon level X. Another EV comes down into the bench. And Glaceon level X attacks with Avalanche. The coin flip is heads, so... Gardevoir takes 70 damage, and because of the coin flip hitting heads, all the opponent's benched Pokémon now take 20 damage each, so Avalanche is a really good attack for spread damage. And also Glaceon comes with the Poké Body Chilly Breath, making it so that when it's in the active spot, the opponent's Pokémon cannot use any Poké powers, so now Gardevoir and Claydol cannot use their abilities anymore. The Gardevoir side plays no cards, going straight for the attack, Psychic Lock, and turn passes back over to Glaceon again. Glaceon attaches a Water Energy to the Benched Eevee and then plays Night Maintenance to search their discard pile for a Glaceon and two Water Energies to shuffle back into the deck. We're just getting ready for the future turn where this Eevee can evolve into Glaceon once again. And there's the attack declared Avalanche. Coin Flip is heads once again, so Gardevoir is knocked out and all the Benched Pokémon take 20 damage again. So the damage is really starting to add up. 40 damage dealt to all the bench Pokemon. Chatot comes into the active spot, again because it does have that free retreat cost, giving the Gardevoir side a turn to decide what they want to do before they commit to an attacker. Roseanne's Research is going to be the supporter for the turn, searching the, the deck for two cards. Combination of basic Pokemon and basic energy, so we see another Ralts coming down. That's going to be the fourth Ralts of the game. And that's it! It looks like they have no more basic Pokémon or basic energies to add to their hand. Gardevoir's coming into the active spot. There goes the Chatot retreating for free. And we're going to be seeing a KO on this Glaceon. There's the attack declared. Psychic Lock, hitting for 50 damage. And another prize taken by Gardevoir. Eevee comes into the active spot. And they play Celios Network, so they're going to be searching for their Glaceon. Yeah, there it is, Glaceon. It's not ready to start using its second attack, but it's got plenty of energy to use its first attack, Snowcloak. Okay, Snowcloak is declared, hitting for 30 damage, and there's a coin flip, and it rolls... Oh, it rolls tails! If it rolled heads, Snowcloak would have prevented any damage from hitting Glaceon for the turn, which would, would have been really good for the, the Glaceon side, as they're not doing too good in this moment. On the Guard of War side, they're playing their supporter, BD Search. To search the deck for another Pokemon to add to their hand. 
we see a Galade coming into the hand, so the final Ralts is going to be evolving to Galade, it looks like. Do they have another rare candy? They do! There's the next rare candy evolving the final Ralts into Galade. That is the second Pokémon that Ralts can evolve into. And a double Rainbow Energy comes down into Galade. Psychic Lock is declared, hitting Glaceon for 50 damage, and once again locking all the Poké powers on the Glaceon side. So Claydol has been doing pretty much nothing this entire game. I think it's only used his ability once. Okay, Roseanne's Research searches uh, the deck for a Jirachi EX and a Psychic Energy to add to their hand. Here comes the Jirachi and a Psychic Energy attached right away. And there's the attack declared, Snow Cloak hitting Gardevoir for 30 damage, not quite enough to knock it out, and... Oh, it looks like... Uh, not decided, it didn't land on any side, so they roll again. And it's Tails! Oh, that hurts, so... Glaceon will be getting knocked out at this turn, they really needed a heads on that coin flip, but... Looks like luck is not on their side. Another energy comes down into the benched Galade, so it's fully powered up to use his attack. And before Gardevoir attacks, it's going to use a Telepass once again to copy Team Galactic Mars to draw two cards from the deck and then put one... Oh, it looks like they only had one card left! Putting the final card from the Glacian side at the bottom of the deck and now they have nothing left in hand. And there's another KO taken. The only one left to attack is a Jirachi on the Glacian side. So Jirachi comes up into the active spot. Jirachi has the Poké body called Starlight making it so that if the opponent has any Stage 2 Pokémon, which they do, uh, Jirachi can ignore all the colorless energy requirements in its attack. So there's the attack declared Shield Beam, hitting uh, hitting Gardevoir for weakness, and also Shield Beam has the exact same ability as Psychic Lock, so now the Gardevoir side cannot use their Poké Powers. Uh, but it looks like it, it doesn't matter because Galate is going to be able to take the KO this turn with its Psychic Cut attack. Yeah, there's the attack declared, Psychic Cut. Taking the KO on Jirachi to, to take the final two prizes. And there's the handshake. Gardevoir is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.